Hi everybody and welcome to the Strategic Methods brand new YouTube channel. We are really excited to launch this YouTube channel because we will be covering all things figure skating. From IJS information, US figure skating rules, as well as coaching, tips and tricks. We have it all here. So if you are a skater, a parent, a coach, or just a fan, please be sure right now to take the time and hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, a thumbs up button because that will help us a lot as we start to grow this brand new channel. With all that said, let's get into today's topic. Okay, so in this video, we are gonna cover difficult variations of a camel spin. And before we get into those, because there's three of those, we do have to define what a camel spin is. So it's a spin in which the free leg is backward and the knee is higher than the hip. All right, so I'm gonna pause this video of my student Sam's gorgeous camel spin, camel spin goals right here. And I asked her to kind of exaggerate a little bit, although I think this is a keeper as a position. And what's so important about this position is the knee is higher than the hip and she has this beautiful extension going backward behind her. So if you guys want some exercise on how we get our camel spins to look like this, we have a bunch of exercises, so just put something in the comments below. So I think it's really helpful to see what a camel is not, and we see this a lot in competition, especially at the lower levels where the knee starts drooping, the leg starts dropping, the knee is below the hip, that is not a camel. So hopefully you could bring it back up and the tech panel can find two revolutions in a proper camel position, but if that knee drops just now, that's why you're not you're getting your camel positions. <laughs> talk about how you can level up your camel spin, literally level up and get a level feature. And there are three difficult variations of the camel spin. And it all is based on your shoulder line. Okay, so we are gonna start with the camel sideways position and the tech panel will judge it by your shoulder line. You have to make sure that it's twisted to a vertical position, to that side position. Okay, so here is a righty skater. He's gonna enter into a camel sideways, camel variation, where he stacks his right shoulder on top of his left, and he's gonna make sure that his shoulder line is perpendicular to the ice, completely vertical. Oh, he fell out of that, that's okay. And I'm just throwing this video in here because it's another camel sideways variation. She's catching her foot, and as you can see, her shoulders are in that vertical position. And it's always good to see what a camel spin is not, and this is not a camel sideways. As you can see, the left shoulder isn't quite down, and they're not stacked. It's not vertical to the ice. Okay, and the next category of difficult variation for the camel position is the camel forward. So it's really important that you note that the shoulder line has to be parallel to the ice in a camel forward position. So you can't really have any twist to it because then you're looking at maybe a camel sideways position. But as you can see, this is very common in a camel catch position where the skater grabs the free leg, pulls up, but keeps their shoulders parallel to the ice. Okay, and the last difficult variation of the camel position that we will be covering is a camel up. So a camel upward is where the shoulder line is twisted more than to a vertical position. So take that camel side position and go more, twist more, and that's your camel upward. And the thing that you'll notice is the free leg position, as long as the knee is higher than the hip, you can bend, you can catch, you can do all sorts of things in these camel positions, but you just have to make sure that the shoulder line is in the correct variation that you're going for and that your knee is higher than your hip. So something that you really wanna avoid is dropping down out of the camel position as you're grabbing. So if you can pull up and still maintain a camel position after that, you will get your camel variation, um, but it does get sent to the judges for some geo re reduction. So work on your hamstrings, work on your flexibility, and really try to grab staying in a camel position. Okay, and lastly, these difficult variations are only allowed once per program. You can do them more than once per program, but only the first attempt will be counted as a level feature. So if you do a camel side and say it doesn't go your way, they still check the box as the attempt. So don't try to do it later in the program and try to get credit for it because your first attempt is what matters. 
So that wraps up our conversation about difficult variations on the camel position. Um, a couple of things to remember, always keep your knee higher than your hip. You have to make sure that you maintain the camel position. You have to make sure that it's not affected while you're trying these difficult variations. That's why they're difficult. Um, we also learned that the tech panel judges it by the shoulder line. So you wanna make sure that your side is side, you're up is up and your forward is forward. So it's just nice, clear positions. You don't wanna give them anything to review, anything to question. That's kind of a good strategy. So make sure that when you compete it, it's nice and strong and you'll get it called every time. And yeah, so that's the end of our first video. Um, please make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're gonna be going over all IJS spin positions and difficult variations and features um, and knowing the difference between what's a difficult variation, what is a feature. Um, we're going to go over rules and everything anyway. So please subscribe, like this video, share it with your students' parents, share it with your students, share it with other coaches. Um, just send it to yourself because that would help our brand new channel out a lot. But thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next week for another video.